Thank you for clicking on that play button on YouTube and joining me here of the 300 hours of YouTube that are uploaded every minute. You have selected this one and that is no accident. And I hope that you enjoy the time that we do spend together, however long that might be. There's a lot of cool and exciting things that are happening today and it is spring. It is a time of change, of new beginnings. There's a beautiful, just joie de vivre in the air. There's happiness, there's excitement, there's enthusiasm. And I just got to tell you, it's time to try new things. And so I am going to practice what I preach and something I just dust, took, you know, just brushed the dust off and I decided to pull out my flute and I'm going to start practicing and playing the flute again. Might even play a little YouTube song and play along with one of the other YouTube musicians on here. I'm not here to tout myself as a musician or anything even remotely close to that, but I do absolutely love and adore music. But what I want to share with you today is um, there are, there's one or two quotes that I wanted to share with you today in sync and in line with what we talked about spring being a new season and you know i gotta tell you that uh, oftentimes we get so busy in the rat race and the hustle and bustle of everything that we need to do and we have this perpetual long list of things to do that we keep on you know writing every day and it's a it's like a tale it never ends and unfortunately most of us fail to put ourselves on the list so I am in the midst of doing a Super Bloom tour and I am filming and shooting and at the same time I'm also riding my e-bike as part of my video production company and I have made a new commitment to really provide quality content not just in the private commercial sector that I serve but also to create this and put this on YouTube and share it with folks like you with families like yours and to that end, I also want to really commit to putting up videos every week on my YouTube channel and creating quality content that will uplift and edify you. And I'm, I'm all about facilitating, educating, encouraging, and empowering people. That's how I've built my businesses in the past. And it's, some, it's something that's in the fabric of who I am. And it's just what I love to do. It brings me great joy to see people take a step in the direction of their dreams and goals, to accomplish their goals, to um, you know, be aware of the successes that they're having. And it just brings me great joy, great joy. So with that being said, I wanted to share with you, there's a, um, a particular quote by Einstein that I think is really quite fantastic and I'll share it with you. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that every time I do photo, photo shoots and uh, film shoots for movies, we I always take a still shot and I post it on my Instagram feed. And whatever book it is that I'm reading at the time, which as of the taping of this particular clip, I'm reading The Way of the Peaceful, the Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman. And that book is just, I read it once, then I watched the movie, and then I'm rereading the book and I'm just savoring it, really diving deep into the concepts that he teaches in that book, which is really, really profound. If you've never heard of it, if you haven't um, read it, I highly encourage you to check it out. Even watch the movie first and then buy the book. It is really uh, quite it, mind expanding and consciousness raising and just a very profound life, life filling book. And the quote that is not from that book that I want to share with you first right now is one by Albert Einstein. And he says that the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. So think about it gals and pals, everything around us is changing. You've heard about infinite source intelligence. Everything has its own unique intelligence and, and its own vibration. You see it in the plants. You see how during the winter, everything starts to kind of quiet down and shut down and slow down. You see that the leaves fall to the ground and the trees are bare and the flowers disappear. And then the spring comes and it's a new change. It's a new beginning a time of growth and expansion. And you see, especially right now in California, we are so incredibly lucky here. I happen to live in Huntington Beach, California and Orange County, and we are having an explosion. This thing called a super bloom that only happens once every 10 to 15 years. And oh my gosh, it is just completely an epic experience to be out in nature and to see the spectacular colors. But this is also evidence to us of change and the infinite intelligence that is in the fabric of life in the minutest of things 
you know, something as tiny as a little teeny weeny little flower and you look at it and it has tiny little detail that usually will go overlooked and unless you take the time to really look closely, you'll be completely unaware of that fine artistry, how the universal intelligence, how God shows off with his exquisite attention to detail and only a few will ever recognize and appreciate the beauty of that detail. And so you're wondering, what does, ha what does this have to do with me? Well, the same energy that flows through the plants, the trees, and the animals, the air, the water, that also, that's the same energy that flows through your veins, through your body, through your pore, through the molecules and atoms of every fiber of your being, from the largest to the very smallest. And so I'm here to tell you that the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. And if you don't like the circumstances that you're finding yourself in right now, then change it. Choose to, choose to look at things differently. Choose to think of things differently. Choose to seek out new alternatives. Choose to be willing to do different things with different people in different places. I think you're getting the gist of this change. Don't do the same things that you've done in the past. Do something new and change. And let's start with something simple. My challenge to you here today, and you know, if this video only reaches one person and only one person is affected by this and it improves their life in some way, shape or form, then I don't care if I get two views, 2000 views, 2 million views. If only one person watches this video and they receive a direct benefit from it, and they're uplifted, encouraged, and empowered, and they decide, you know what? I'm gonna do what she said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna do something different, and I am going to put myself on my list. So now you're on your list. Maybe during the middle of the week, you decide to call your employer, or if you work for yourself, as do I, you decide to take the day off and perhaps throw a dart on a map or just Google something random in your area, find out where the closest super bloom is to you. And for that day, take off and go check out the super bloom. Heck, throw your bike in the back of your car, take it with you. And no, you don't have to take a friend with you. If you want to, you can. You can call a friend and say, hey, let's both call in sick to work and let's let's take the day off and let's let's go, let's go do this. Or if that's what you always do, maybe. This time, to change it up, you'll go by yourself. Imagine that. You're like, but how will I manage by myself? You'll manage just fine. And trust me, wherever it is that you arrive to, you have tons of friends there. You just haven't met them yet. And when you get there, all you have to do is look at somebody in the eye, make eye contact, and say, hi, isn't this an awesome super bloom? And you'd be surprised at how many people will respond in kind to you. And people generally respond very well to that outgoing, exuberant um, energy and enthusiasm. And just be joyous about being out in nature and having your physical eyes be able to witness the beauty of the green grass and all the green bushes and trees, the wind that's blowing through the air, and the, just the beautiful carpet of colorful flowers everywhere and take pictures with your cell phone to capture that moment. Do some selfies and just be present with that. Take your shoes off, get grounded. If you didn't know it, now you do. If you take your shoes off and put your feet directly on the grass or the dirt, you automatically get grounded by being on the largest magnet on earth, which is the earth itself is a giant magnet by sheer placing placement of feet on ground or dirt, you automatically are grounded and you receive the energy from the earth and you become energized. So try it. You might find that you like it and maybe this will be one of your new things that you'll change. Maybe every morning you'll jump out of bed and before you have breakfast, before you do anything else, maybe you'll run outside to your backyard, your front yard, look up to the sun, get a little bit of vitamin D as you do so, be barefoot and put those feet on the grass or the dirt, either or, and just for two, three minutes, doesn't have to be long. How about trying that? If you try that and you receive a benefit from it, make sure to, to contact me and let me know. 
my Instagram link is in the description below. You can just connect to me on Instagram and send me a private message or post a comment on one of my Instagram postings and I'll be sure to respond. But try that for a change. The other thing I wanted to share with you is we have um, the Secrets of Success, which is something that I have been really a, a, a fan and passionate about seeking throughout my entire life, especially, you know, I, I'd like to say that it started in high school because I was always on a quest of always getting straight A's and AP courses and all that kind of stuff. But really it started, I'd say, after I graduated from college because I really, when, when you're in college, you have so, you're, you have so much so much reading to do, you have so many assignments and lab and, and so forth, and you really don't have time to do a lot of other um, extracurricular reading because you barely have enough time to get the reading done for your courses. So I'd say that really when I graduated from college, that started almost immediately because then I could read things that were just for my own self-edification. And so that's when I started my quest for positive mental, at, positive mental attitude, um, books and self-improvement and the expanding of my consciousness and my awareness and my my spiritual walk for it to grow and what I want to say is that at this time if that has been something that you've maybe neglected over the past year or years or your whole life maybe now might be the time to get started on that and it might start with this simple little action of doing something different so I pulled out my flute and um, I don't have any sheet music handy because I'm not too long ago I actually moved and I don't know where my sheet music is I can't seem to find it but I, I know that I will recoup it at some point I read music but I also can play by ear so I don't have to have sheet music in order to play so because I am going to practice what I preach and do something to change, I've decided on a couple things. Not only have I pulled out my flute, I also opened up a YouTube channel, found some music that I liked, and I'm playing along with some other musicians, virtually of course, because they're on YouTube and I'm here live. I might even play a little piece for you before we finish this, this little movie clip. But the other thing I decided to do is that we have open mic night just around the corner from my home here. So I'm going to go join, I don't know who these people are, of course, but I just found out about it a few days ago, and I thought, hmm, interesting. As I've been composing more music for some of the video production and filming that I've been doing, isn't it interesting? I find out about open mic night. Just before I had you know, found out about open mic night just a couple of days ago, I was inquiring in my mind, it's like, gee whiz, I wonder how I would find out find out who are some of the better singers here in, in the beach communities, you know, who are the be better guitarists, who are the better drummers. Um, I'd like to identify them and find out a little bit more about them just to see, you know, the music that they're playing and, you know, kind of get in the loop in that regard. Who knows, I might be able to use them in one of my, in one of my productions. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but I'm just open to the possibilities. And I have a passion for music. I, I, it's been my whole life. Not that I'm all that in terms of being a musician, um, but it is a passion of mine. So I'm following my bliss. I'm following something that gen genuinely feeds my heart and my soul. With that being said, I'm looking at upping my content game and again, posting more stuff on YouTube that is relevant, that will help people like you with families like yours who want to improve themselves, whether you are a content creator yourself or whether you are someone who it really truly just enjoys the YouTube channel and this message resonates with you let's rock and roll so without further ado let me go ahead I'm going to switch over to this YouTube video and let's play along
What's up, guy? All right. So there you are. I hadn't played, I haven't played the flute actually in a really long time, so it's a little rusty. But I'm started. I'm willing to show my vulnerability and my imperfections because heaven knows that wasn't perfect. But it's a start. So I've never, I haven't played in public the flute for, holy cow, probably. I did play at the park about four or five years ago. One day I pulled out my flute. And I pulled, I played a little bit privately after that, but probably since before 2008, and it's already two, 2019, so it's been about 11 years since the last time I played in public in front of anyone or a band or a crowd, so it's been a long time. So I encourage you to do the same. You know, what's the worst that can happen? Really, truly nothing, you know, at this point in the game. So this is it, um, and my parting words for you are... Do, don't think. And this is a quote that I heard Casey Neistat say that uh, he read in the book, A Guide to Life. And um, actually, it wasn't The Guide to Life. This was something that he actually himself said, just do, don't think. The funny coincidence about that is that um, maybe six months ago, my boyfriend at the time, um, he was working for a large fortune company, and he was encouraging one of his colleagues at a, some sort of social thing that his company was doing, and it was a bowling thing. And he was encouraging his coworker. He's like, "Do don't think." And then he gave the guy a beer, and he just kept on telling him, "Do don't think." And I think that's so funny because those were the exact same words that Casey Neistat, you know, used in his in his video, and it worked. Fantastic, so much so that his coworker actually won the bowling uh, competition at that particular event just by that guy not being in his head and being in his heart and just doing, not thinking. And sometimes, you know, they, they say that, uh, you know, you should do ready, aim, fire. Well, sometimes you have to not be ready, just aim and fire and figure it out. Yeah, maybe that's what the name of this video should be aim, fire, figure the rest out. Maybe that's what I'll name this video. Aim, fire, figure the rest out. So I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. And make sure you share, you like, and subscribe to this video. And uh, that's it. That's a wrap. All right. Thanks for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side. And thank you so much for clicking on that play button again.